Arizona Eco Development is one of two developments seeking to annex property outside of Prescott, which would give them access to city water. Prescott estimates around 10 to 15,000 of these new construction homes would need access to water in the coming years. And those potential homes have the city rethinking its water policy. The population is rising and the water is flowing potentially into new developments. Water resources are an interesting topic because we have a legal right to water and it's, it's debated as to how much. Water controls growth. Some say that's a good idea, but others think those resources are needed elsewhere. Others like Joe Trudeau from the Center for Biological Diversity. He says there are some red flags about the proposal. Well, the biggest problem with the city's proposed water policy is providing a tremendous amount of water to areas that are outside of the city limits in uh, the current uh, areas of Yavapai County. And so this breaks with precedent of annexing lands into the city before you provide services. Mayor Pro Tem Billy Orr believes the city has a responsibility to meet the needs of its growing population. People are going to move here. They're going to move out in the county. We know they're coming. So we just need to grow in a smart, manage it, not let it be just crazy out there in chaos. Or says the city has made strides with water conservation. We're actually using less water today than we did 14 years ago, on an average of about 2% less a year, even with growth at about 1.5 to 2% a year. But Trudeau worries an increased focus on development and groundwater pumping will cause more of the Verde River's base flow to decline. Well, every bit of water that we draw out of the Little Chino or the Big Chino aquifers to feed growth in the Prescott area is a drop of water that isn't going into the Verde River. Water is political on one hand, and, and some folks would say it's the basis of life on the other hands. And again, we're striving for balance where you have some of both. Part of the balance comes from making sure water goes back into the aquifer. Councilman Steve Blairs claims that the city recharges 95% of its water from a new development. But the Center for Biological Diversity says it's more like 28%. I've lived here since 1974, seen during my lifetime groundwater reserves fall. For longtime resident Gary Beverly, this worries him. Uh, the groundwater level in my well in Chino Valley goes down two feet per year. It's easy to experience the diminishing status of our of our groundwater reserves. Beverly's concerned he'll witness the same happen to the Verde River. Out of six perennial rivers, this is the only one that's still in good ecological condition. And we are positioned to lose it if we don't change the way we handle our groundwater management. The Prescott City Council is planning to meet in the coming months to discuss upcoming changes to their current water policy. In the newsroom, Madison Staten, Cronkite News.